the previous video of this series, we learned the diagonal method and how to apply it. If you haven't already watched that video, the link is also in the description of this video. So make sure to go check that out. Okay, now that you've watched it, as a quick recap, we'll do a quick and simple example. For this equation, we do two times negative six, negative eight times four, so two times negative six, and then we subtract value of four times negative eight, and then you divide it by divide it by negative one, two times three, so two times three, and then you subtract it from the value of negative one times four. So negative one times four, which is equal to, so we have negative 12 plus 32 divided by six plus four, which is 20 divided by 10, which is equal to two. So x equals to two. Now for the value of y, what we do is we take the constant term, the term that the expression is equal to, negative six, subtract the value of the coefficient of x times the value of x. So you subtract three times two, and you divide it by the coefficient of y, which is four. This gives us negative 12 divided by four, which is negative three. So y is negative three. Now let's move on to why this method actually works. So we're gonna prove it. And also make sure to stick till the end of the video. Because at the end of the video, I'll share how I actually thought of this diagonal product. Okay, so let's continue then. So now we're gonna essentially derive it for the general two variable equation. So we just gave some arbitrary constants in front of x and y. So what we do is let's actually try solving this. And how we can solve this by standard el elimination method. We multiply by e, multiply by b, and we get e a x plus e b y equal to e c. And now for the second equation, we get b d x plus b e, or the same thing as e b, e b y equal to b f. And then we subtract these equations, and we get e a minus b times x, and e b y minus e b y is just zero. So that's just zero, we don't care about it. Equal to e c minus b f. And that means that x is equal to e c minus b f over e a minus bb. And now that we found the value of x, let's see what it actually means in our equation. So it's ec, it's ec minus bf divided by ea minus bb. And as you can see, this is just the diagonal product method. Okay, so now to find the value of y, this is pretty simple. All we have to do is we have that ax. So we have ax plus by plus c. And then we divide, minus, subtract ax, we get by plus c minus ax. And then that means that y is c a minus ax divided by b, which is essentially just the value minus the coefficient of x times the value of x and then you divide it by the coefficient of y. So that is the proof of the diagonal method, product method. So now I'll explain how I actually thought of this and came up with this. So I was thinking about how a calculator can solve two variable equations. So I thought maybe there was a formula. And then for a formula, just like we do for many other math problems, why not just try solving equation generally? And that's what I did right here, as you can see. And I found the value of x to be such a nice and simple result. And that is the diagonal product. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and share this video. And in addition, please comment down below what, what your thoughts are about this proof.
And also check out some of my other videos, as you can see here. Bye.